Good Friday morning, everybody, live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik in the Memphis metro area. A few scattered showers for this morning, but not really much more than that at this point in time. And then also seeing the potential for a few more thunderstorms into later on tonight. So if you have any possibilities of heading out the door for anything involving outdoor activities for tonight, we're going to be seeing, again, the best potential for rainfall heading our way into tonight and early tomorrow. But unfortunately... We are going to be seeing that potential again for rainfall throughout the rest of Saturday and also maybe the possibility of some stronger storms heading our direction. We'll be watching that very carefully throughout the course of the rest of the day. New forecasts are about to be issued by the Storm Prediction Center, and we'll talk more about that coming up here in just a little bit, as well as helping you plan out the rest of your weekend. So stay tuned for a lot more coming up here on Weather Overtime. If you've never been here before, welcome to the show. Can't stick around for the whole thing. That's great. Forecast scrolling by in the blue bar down at the bottom of your screen. Want to get even more details? Go to wreg.com slash weather, and you can check out the rest of our forecast available there, including our video forecast from earlier this morning on News Channel 3 Daybreak. And again, tons of information also available on our social media platforms as well. Drop your location and your weather reports into the comments section, rainfall amounts, Temperature, cloud cover, wind speed, direction, anything like that. Let's do some amateur meteorology this morning. If you've got something to share, let's go ahead and see it. And we'll talk more about the rest of the forecast again for your weekend coming up here in the News Channel 3 viewing area for West Tennessee, North Mississippi, and East Arkansas in just a little bit. Quick check of the forecast throughout the rest of the day. Again, should be making our way with these southerly winds going back into the lower 60s between lunchtime and dinner time tonight. So we'll briefly peak in the lower 60s, which is a lot milder than what we saw just a couple of days ago. So we will see again the potential for some very mild conditions into this weekend, including near 70 degrees out across the area. Unfortunately, we have more chances of rainfall out there as well, so that could be a bit of a problem, which might cause problems for flooding across the area. But mainly what we're looking at is just sporadic showers all the way up until this evening when those thunderstorms start to pop up with a little bit more energy in the atmosphere. Main threat for severe weather is going to be tomorrow. We'll talk about that coming up here in just a little bit. Current conditions across the Mid-South, taking a peek down toward Oxford. Cloudy skies, a little bit of drizzle early this morning. Mainly cloudy right now at 52 degrees on the campus of Ole Miss and looking at winds out of the east at about 6 miles per hour at the newly refurbished Student Union. Cloudy, a little bit on the drizzly side for this morning on our City Hall cam from Germantown, Tennessee. And temperature also of about 52 degrees looking back toward around the Germantown Parkway area and close to around Park Avenue. So a little bit on the cool side there at this point in time. Well, you're going to step in and do it correctly. You might as well. Mr. Michael Gates, everybody. Right here, everybody. Oh, producer, wow. producer extraordinaire, all-around nice guy. Uh, and gesturer of just absolute precision and wonderment there. So. Uh, I watched that show on another channel that should not be named here. But there you go, something like this. <laughs> <laughs> Hope everyone's having a wonderful day. Uh, thank you for tuning in to Weather Overtime uh, with the meteorologist, Austin Nutter. Right. Yeah. Right. Uh, I hope everyone's having a wonderful Friday, fantastic Friday. Um, do something positive with your life and uh, be safe out there. Carry the umbrella and uh, watch News Channel 3. Well, you're already doing that because you're here. <laughs> Listen, I'm gone. <laughs> Mr. Michael Gates, everybody, one, one, one of the top-notch professional production department people, and I really mean that. It's great Thank to be able to say, hey, just credit where it's due. You know, that's the main thing out there. Hilton East Memphis camera, I-240, uh, right about the peak of rush hour, everything moving on through. Corey Ventura and Troy Washington having your Time Saver traffic updates for this morning. A lot of gray skies across the Mid-South right now, and again, not much rainfall, but we don't need much more out there. The Mississippi River continues to be in flood stage, moderate flooding stage. As you can see, the river reaching pretty much almost all the way back to the West Memphis levees at this time. So that farmland and bottomland area right there completely and totally covered over as the Mississippi River is way up to about 40 feet. But we are cresting. So good news that we should see again 
the river dropping, but it's going to be slow, and it looks like it's going to be toward about almost the end of the month, according to the forecast that I'm looking at over here on this computer monitor, that we're going to see less of a chance of flooding going on into the course of the next several days. So it's going to be a while before we see the big river crossing Arkansas exit open back up again. So we could see, again, a little bit more rainfall could change this forecast, so stay tuned for more out there. Paul at Morrow, 42 degrees and misty rainfall. Thank you very much uh, for that one. Faustin Henderson, yes, we'll talk about that enhanced risk uh, for severe weather at this point in time. Renna Jones, never rains in sunny California. I uh, think they beg to differ about that, especially with some of the lightning they detected out there. About 2,000 lightning stroke strikes off the, off the coast of Los Angeles in the last couple of days. So pretty breezy and a lot of rainfall out that direction, but thank you for that one. Kenneth Luther, we need some sunshine. We will get some. Uh, it's just going to take a few more days to get there, so stay tuned for more on that one. Wanda Galloway, Chitwood, Sarah, Mississippi. Cool reported there. Thank you very much for that. Storm Tracker 3S radar. Again, the heaviest rainfall, at least at the 8 o'clock hour, is just to the east of the Mississippi River. Now, we do have, again, a little bit more activity showing up into and around portions of northeast Mississippi. All of this is on its way out. So Corinth, Ripley, Boonville, Tupelo, you're picking up the rainfall at this time. A little farther to the north around the Tennessee River Valley between Jackson, Tennessee and the Tennessee River. More scattered showers here. North of I-40, a little bit heavier intensity of rainfall around McKenzie moving its way back toward Camden and back out of northwest Tennessee and the Missouri Boot Hill. That's where we're seeing, again, some more rainfall redeveloping at this point. And the possibility of even more showers are going to be popping up west of us later on and then moving into the Mid-South as we get into the course of the rest of the day. So if you're heading out pretty soon, take the umbrella with you. You will need it at some point, not the whole day, but again, it will be possible. Good news, and yes, there is some. The warm air moving up from the Gulf is keeping that cold air at bay. So all the way up to around I-70, sleet, snow, rainfall mixture. Could be some slick spots east of St. Louis on I-70. All the way back over into the Appalachians, anything north of Knoxville picking up a rain-snow mixture. So it could be some travel spot problems between St. Louis, Louisville, Knoxville, and back up into parts of the Virginia. So if you're traveling that way, that could be a bit of a problem there. Temperatures pretty mild across the Mid-South. We've got numbers back into and around the lower 50s. And again, that's pretty mild. We have seen some numbers out there back into the mid to upper 40s, even some uh, upper 30s into and around parts of northeast Arkansas. But numbers pretty mild. And again, thanks to those southerly winds, should be keeping the temperatures up throughout the rest of the day. All right, through the rest of Friday, running the numbers by lunchtime. Temperatures a little warmer to the south of I-40 in that warm air north of I-40 back in the mid to upper 40s or so. So we are seeing, again, a little bit cooler conditions there. And also with the clouds and the rainfall blocking out the sun, it's going to be a little bit brisk in parts of the area at first. But with that warm air heading northward, we should see upper 50s to lower 60s across much of the area. And through this afternoon, about the time the kids get out of school, there will be that chance of rainfall. So heading off to school, hopefully they've got some rain protection out there. Rain chances continue into tonight, and we will see again that potential for showers and maybe throw in a few thunderstorms as we go toward dinner time and around News Channel 3 at 10. Mainly just rainfall into tomorrow morning. But taking a look at some of the other computer models through tomorrow morning, it's looking like by daybreak we could see some stronger weather, some more intense rainfall from northwest Tennessee back into around northeast Arkansas and southeastern Missouri. Again, this is just one computer model, but that's the way it's looking from here and on average. Better chances of rainfall the farther we go throughout the rest of the day. And starting in Arkansas, moving across the river tomorrow by early tomorrow morning, central Arkansas, southern Missouri, and then traveling its way into the Mississippi Valley through midday across the Mid-South and into eastern parts of the viewing area for West Tennessee and North Mississippi as we get into tomorrow afternoon. Now, again, this should be relatively short-lived. It's moving at a pretty good clip, the whole storm system, but if there's a possibility we could see it linger by just a little bit. So most of everything should be gone by about 8 o'clock tomorrow night. I would not be surprised, though, to see a few of these thunderstorms stick around through, say, about dinner time, sunset tomorrow. But the bulk of anything we're looking at in the way of severe weather 
should be coming up late tomorrow morning into tomorrow afternoon and early evening. So that's what we're going to be watching with a lot of, again, very focused attention on what's going on with severe weather out there for tomorrow. Now, the threat today is, again, more focused back toward Fort Smith, down toward Dallas. That's a slight risk category here. Notice again, we have just a little bit of a sliver of a marginal threat. It's not much, but it is still a possibility into northeast Arkansas, northwest Tennessee, mainly along and north of I-40 for late this afternoon and late this evening. So that's where we could see, again, some problems later on. Now, if we get into tomorrow, and again, we see the possibility of that target zone of an enhanced risk of severe weather, this isn't quite as energetic or dangerous from what we saw last week as parts of Alabama got hit very hard by those storms. There are signs, though, that, again, the indications are going upwards that some of these storms that form, if there's a line of storms that form, anything that forms ahead of that line as it moves into the Mid-South, those storms out in front of that line could be the most strongest thunderstorms out there, and that's where we may see the best possibility of damaging winds and the possibility of isolated, possibly strong tornado. So again, this is going to be the main focus area for that in this enhanced category. Now, this forecast is, give or take, about seven hours old for right now. The new forecast comes out in about three hours, so we'll be interested to see what the Storm Prediction Center has to say in their new update, and we'll bring that to you on social media as soon as we get it. But either way, right now, the main target zone is for North Mississippi, East Arkansas, and a small portion of Southwest Tennessee, including the metro area. Notice, though, if you will, into northeast areas of Arkansas and into around Northwest Tennessee, you're under a slight risk category, which is less than the enhanced, but you are still under a threat of severe weather, which means everybody in the News Channel 3 viewing area sees that potential of severe weather into and around the area. So that's something you're really going to have to pay attention to. We'll keep you updated on News Channel 3 on air and online. So definitely want to stay tuned for more information about what's going on out there. And again, we'll give you updates throughout the rest of Friday. Tim and Jim will have your forecast coming up later on tonight. Some of those thunderstorms could drop, again, some pretty heavy rainfall, so one to two inches more on top of what we've already gotten. The ground is already saturated, for, so any rain that falls is going to run straight off into those waterways, and that means we could see some very rapid rises in the rivers out there, so something to pay attention to out there. Again, this forecast will change into tomorrow, so we'll keep you updated on that as any changes occur. Definitely want to stay tuned again for the updates, and we'll keep you advised on that. From daybreak, again, the main forecast that we're looking at for today, running the numbers, is lower 60s. Not for everybody. Again, mainly for I-40 and southward today. Showers throughout most of the day, and thunderstorms popping up later on this evening, mixing in with that rainfall. Thunderstorms tomorrow could turn severe at just about any time past daybreak and through and into early to mid tomorrow afternoon. Then we start to see past dinner time the rain and the thunderstorms move on out of here. Don't forget to change your clocks forward one hour. Also, don't forget to change the batteries in your smoke detector and your weather radio to make certain you've got everything ready to go just in case the power goes out. Always best to be prepared on stuff like that. Bit of a break. Not much, but we'll take it. Again, dry conditions into Sunday. Very nice out there. A little cool. Temperatures in the upper 50s. It'd be nice if that were to stick around for a little bit. Unfortunately, the clouds come back and then the showers return late Sunday night, which means your commute back to school, if you have it next week, there's a lot of spring break going on. Could be a sloppy one with rain showers and some thunderstorms continuing throughout the rest of next week. Better news toward next weekend. We dry out once again. So as we go towards St. Patrick's Day, Next next Sunday, we see some nicer weather heading our direction, but it's going to take a while for it to get its way here, and it would be nice to get that drier weather to stick around for a while, but unfortunately, it looks like we've got some pretty soggy conditions across much of the Mid-South area for right now. Lori Hubanks, 47 in Reagan, Tennessee, tired of the rainfall, bring on sunshine. Very common sentiment right there. Thank you very much for that. Ed Delisle, 43. From Kennett, Missouri, a little bit on the cooler side out there. Roxanne Mazik Goodson, ball games tonight in Horn Lake. Uh, iffy at this point in time uh, with showers out there. I would say iffy with thunderstorms 
Uh, if there's any lightning around, I would say it'd be great for the officials to postpone or cancel the games just to be on the safe side. It's hard to get several hundred to several thousand people to shelter when storms are approaching, so hopefully the officials will err on the side of caution for those. If you'd like to know more about severe weather from our point of view and what goes on, Tim Simpson and Jim Jaggers have more on the Emotional Terror Tornado Alert podcast that's available for download right now on iTunes, Spotify, and at WREG.com. Again, a great opportunity to listen to Tim and Jim on what goes on when severe weather hits what it's like for us to give you the warnings from here, kind of a point of view that a lot of people don't get a chance to see. So if you'd like to take a look, listen to this, again, Spotify, iTunes, and WREG.com if you'd like to know more. My forecast throughout the rest of the weekend on Country 92.5 and Oldies 102.3, and of course I'll have more on social media throughout the course of the rest of the weekend, so definitely want to stay tuned again for more on that. George Moore, dry right now in Bartlett, Tennessee. 73, back to you, sir, WV4W, from KG4GKE, uh, amateur radio license exchange going on there, so thank you very much uh, for stopping by, sir. Uh, see, Faustin Henderson going to be rocking and rolling tomorrow. Possibility, again, that's something we need to watch. Better chances of thunderstorms. One more check of the forecast will be best into this afternoon, late this afternoon, into this evening. Either way, I would keep the umbrella handy. Make sure those windshield wipers are, wa are working. And remember, if your windshield wipers are on, you're getting rainfall off the windshields, your headlights must be on. That's state law. Let's all be safe out there. Let's all be careful as we go throughout what looks to be a pretty soggy first half of the weekend. That'll do it for this edition of News Channel 3's exclusive video weather blog, Weather Overtime. Again, we're going to have a lot throughout the rest of the morning on our special edition weathercasts on News Channel 3 live at 9 and on News Channel 3 at noon. Tim and Jim have your forecast later on this afternoon into this evening. And, of course, I'll be on duty through the weekend to keep you updated on what's going on in the Mid-South when it comes to severe weather. Keep it tuned to News Channel 3 again for updates when it comes to severe weather, and we'll give you an idea as to what's going on to keep you safe out there, so stay tuned for a lot more. Questions, concerns, ideas, anything you'd like to see on here, we'd love to know more about what you think. Drop me a line at austin.onic at wreg.com, and we'd love to know more about, again, if you'd like to see something on here, more satellite pictures, more climate data, whatever you've got, we'd love to get more details on what you would like to tune in for, so give me a drop of a line and let us know what you're thinking on that, and we'll see if we can update that for you as we go throughout the next several days and weeks. Thank you for joining us for Weather Overtime for Friday morning. Stick around for a lot more with News Channel 3 coming up throughout the rest of Friday and definitely want to stay tuned for more coming up with severe weather coverage possible as we go into Saturday. Everybody stay safe out there and please keep it tuned to News Channel 3.